Singapore-based ride-hailing and deliveries giant Grab saw its shares plunge by 37% to an all-time low, wiping $7 billion from its market value following disappointing fourth-quarter earnings. The Nasdaq-listed company reported a 44% drop in quarterly revenue and a loss of $1.1 billion in the October to December quarter. Grab's share price dropped to $3.09, the lowest since the company's public debut last December in the world's largest merger with a special purpose acquisition company, SPAC, worth $40 billion. We plan to be judicious and disciplined in allocating capital, as we double down on the long-term growth. We added that Grab will remain laser-focused on becoming profitable. The company expects to break even in its food delivery unit by the first half of next year, as Grab's gross merchandise volume, referring to the total value of transactions on the platform, in the fourth quarter rose 29% year-over-year to $16.1 billion, marking a record year for Grab. Co-founded in 2012 by Anthony Tan and Tan Hoi Ling as a taxi booking app akin to Uber, Grab has since grown to become a super app by expanding its business to ride hailing, food deliveries and digital financial services, which has earned the Southeast Asian startup comparisons to DoorDash and PayPal. The self-described everyday everything app operates in over 400 cities and towns across Southeast Asia, including in Singapore, Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia, Myanmar, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. As part of its regional expansion, Grab has signed partnerships with fresh food suppliers and same-day delivery providers. In recent months, the Super App acquired Malaysian grocery chain Jaya Grocer and signed partnerships with supermarkets across Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. However, Grab faces competition from other regional internet giants such as Singapore-based Sea Limited and Indonesia's GoTo, a tech behemoth formed by the merger between ride-hailing app Gojek and e-commerce platform Tokopedia last May, 